Okay. Can you see? Can Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, Jisoo, you didn't attend. Yes, I can see Banner, Kenlu. Faisal, but I, I, okay, great. Okay. Today we will continue to learn the these four. Parts. Firstly, assessing norm normality. Second, one sample t test. Third, independent sample t test. And the fourth is paired sample t test. Okay. Firstly, yeah, let's start the content one. Ass assessing normality. Okay. Uh, the assumption of normality is a prerequisite for many influential statistic techniques. I will show you different ways to explore normality assumption. Yeah, let's firstly, uh, let's open the data, body measurement. Okay. The body measurement. Body measurement. Here, the body measurement, uh, the valuable view has five valuables. First ID, that, that's the identification number and then x1 height x3 weight x4 bust x5 shoulder width okay okay let's use the height x1 height and uh, uh, x4 bust these two valuable as a uh, example we will check if these two valuable can be considered as nomina. They are distributed as nomina distribution. Okay. So if if you need to test this assumption, then let's use the analyze here. Okay. Yeah. Analyze. And then second, the descriptive statistics. Here, number three from the top, number three is explore. Okay, so please click explore. We will use this tool to test if height and bust can be considered as nominal distribution. Click it. Right. The dependent list is height x1, bust x4. Okay. Yeah. Display. We would like to display statistics 
and plus birth. So this default birth. Next statistics. For the statistics, we want to output descriptives. That's okay. And the plus. Plus here. Yes, please. Select the no normality plots with tests. Okay. And then click continue. Yeah, options. Options shares the if there's any missing value, then we would exclude cases list wise. Yeah, that's the default choice. Okay, we will keep and the clip continue. Okay, everyone can can follow me. Okay, then we click OK. Wait, wait the output. Okay. And so here we can see the outputs or the output here. Yeah. In fact, I would like to the plots. Yes, I I forgot to select the his, histogram. Yes, you can also I chose the histogram. Okay. Okay, here is the output. Okay. We have the cases twenty eight. 28, the, the sample number is 28. And uh, the first uh, method, uh, we, I would show you the histograms. The histograms. Histogram is here. Look, it's here, okay? Here is the histograms. The value on the vertical axis, the value, the value on the vertical axis indicate the frequency of cases. For example, this is the mean of the height uh, about uh, 168 and uh, the frequency Frequency is five. Okay, and here is one seventy one. The frequency is seven. One seventy two ten. So it shows the frequency of of the cases. Okay, and uh, yes, when when you look at uh, the histogram, you can see that. Yeah, here is in the middle, in the middle of the height. Okay, the mean of the height and uh, uh, also the mean of the height, the cases, the sample of cases uh, is the biggest. And uh, when the height is lower and uh, the height is taller, then you can see the cases is uh, decreasing. So, for this, look, for this distribution, frequency distribution, we can say that the height can be considered as nominal, normality. Okay, that's one way. Also, let's look at the 
the best. Yeah, look at here the best. Yeah, from the plot you can it shows the uh, the best measurement is from eighty three to eighty nine. Okay, and then eighty six is uh, close to the mean of the uh, best measurement. Also, you can see that the smallest and uh, the biggest of the best measurement. Yes, the the frequency is low. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the number is small. Number is small. It's just three. It's just two. Uh, and uh, the if the best measurement is close to the mean of the best, then the 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 sample the cases sample yes uh, has large number of people. For example, here uh, uh, it has seven. And here it has eight. Uh, also, from this plot gram, we can say that the best, uh, it, it looks, it looks, the best the, can be considered as normal distribution. Okay, that's, that's one method to judge if the valuable can be considered as nominal the distribution. Okay. Second, second, let's look at the steam and the leaf plots. Okay, this is the histogram. Okay, then if you draw this tendency, you can see that the distribution can be considered as nominal. Okay, let's look at the second method, steam and the leaf plots and uh, the box plots. Okay. Okay, first let's look at the height, steam and the leaf. Okay, how can you analyze the height, steam, and leaf plot? Okay, let's look at uh, this plot here. Look, here is frequency, two, five, two, seven. That's the frequency. And uh, here is the steam, one, six, seven, one, six, eight, one, six, nine. That's the steam. Here is steam. And uh, here is leaf. Eight nine zero one five eight nine. They are all leaves. Okay, so look at here. Frequency is two. Steam one six seven. Leaf eight nine. So it shows that we have two people. One people is one six one six seven point eight. And another is 167.9. Totally, we have two samples, two cases. Okay. So in the, uh, in the same lure, we can say that the, uh, we have five people. The steam is 168. And the leaf is zero, one person, one, one person, five, one person, eight, one person, nine, one person. Okay, can you, uh, do you make sense? So that means we have 168.0, Totally, we have five people. Okay, also here, we have one person is 171.1. One person, one seven point two. Okay, we have two people, one seven, one point three. Two people, one seven, one point four. Three people, one seven, one point six. And one person is one seven, one point eight. That's totally ten. Okay, so so just like the this is the.
histograms. This is the histogram. Histograms shows this way, and uh, the stem and the leaf plot shows this way. Okay, it, it's vertical. Uh, it's another side. Okay, so that means uh, the one seven zero point zero two nine. We have seven people. One seven one point one to one seven one point nine. We have totally ten people. Okay, like here, ten people here, seven people here, and now it shows in this way. Okay, so okay, so we, we can analyze that uh, uh, the length of each row corresponds to the numbers number of cases that fall into a particular interval. Also, from this plot, okay, we can say that the height can be considered normal. Okay, because the this side and this side we has small amount of people, and uh, in the middle we have the larger amount of people. Okay. That's the way we use the steam and the leaf plots to judge uh, if the variable can be considered a normal. Okay, next let's look at the box plots. Let's look at another plot, uh, which is uh, box plots. The box plots. The box plot says here. Okay, this is the uh, box plot. And uh, let's look at uh, the here. We have we can see a box, and the top edge of the box shows the seventy fifth percentage. Percentile. The this line shows the median, and uh, the below part of the box is twenty fifth percentile. Okay, so uh, this is the extreme. If there, if we can see a dot here, a dot uh, and a star mark here, then so that means they are the extreme scores, extreme scores. Okay, if we get a plot like this, how can we judge if the variable uh, is nomi nominal or is not nominal? It is not normal distribution. The criteria is. Let's look at the median. Yes, the median is this. This line it shows the median. So here, median is one seventy. Uh, is between one seventy to one seventy one. Because that means the median of the height is. One seventy, maybe one seventy six or one seventy five. Okay. Um, if the video is positioned in the center of the box, look here. The center of the box is here, right? If if the video is positioned in the center of the box, then it can be considered normal. The height can be considered the normal. Right now, we can see the median is very close to the 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 uh, center of the box. So we can say that the height, the variable height, can be considered as normal. Okay, 
Yeah, I think here it's very important for you to know how to judge when when you use the use these box plots. You can judge if it, it can be considered as nomina or not or disnormal. Okay. Here is the second way, but and then let's look at the this number three and the number four. Yeah, in fact, the number three and the number four are uh, is very popular to test the normal if the distribution can be considered normal. Okay, so also. Let's look at the where is the this this plot. Yeah. So here, look here. Okay, here is the height. Here we can see a line here, right? It has the line here. If the these small circles. Okay, if the small circles, they all of these small circles are very close. The position of them is very close to this line. Then we can we can judge that the height can be considered as normal. If some of the small circles, uh. The position is located here or here, here, which is far from this this line. Then we can say that the the variable cannot be considered as normal, which means as disnormal. Okay. Okay. So here is the analyze here. Yeah, if the cases fall more or less in a straight line, okay, falls more or less, more or less in a straight line, then we can say that the samples are from a normal distribution. Okay, that's the number three method. Yeah, it's very common used. Method to test the distribution. Number four is dependent normal plots. As、uh, this plot is here. Okay. Ah,、oh, really? I check. Let me see. Okay, you move. Yeah, you you move downward. Okay, because I you yes, I see. Here is your 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 question here, right? Okay. Now here is the. This is the box plot, right? And please move downward, and you can see my plot. Can you try?
Ah,、uh, sorry. You should move upward, upward, not downward. Yes. Here is the box plot. Okay. And then please move upward. Sorry. Okay. So here is the cases. If the cases force less or more, or force very close to the to the line, then we can say that the variable, the sample of the variable. Can be considered as normal. Okay. Next is this this plot. Okay. If the samples of the variable、uh, is just、uh, the normal distribution, yes. If it's a perfect、uh, normal distribution. Then all of the cases will fall on the zero. So that look here at the zero line. Zero line means the difference between normal and uh, the and uh, the the real data, the real samples. Okay. So if The if the cases of the variable, if the cases they are absolutely absolutely the normal distribution, then all the cases will fall on this zero line. But we can see that the, here is the difference of the cases and the, the normal cases. It means just like these cases, yeah. The difference is about point zero eight. Here is minus point two two or two one. So that means so less the the cases, the distance of the cases. From this zero line,、uh, is smaller than the cases、uh, is close to the normal distribution. Okay. Right now, here for the cases of height, yeah, the the all the cases,、uh, the difference is between point four to. Minus point five. Okay, so that means it's a small. The difference is small. So、uh, from this plot, we also can conclude that the cases of height can be considered as normal. Okay, here is the explanation. If the sample from a normal distribution, so the points should assemble around a horizontal line through zero. Okay. Just like what I told you that if the samples from a pure normal distribution, then the points should assemble on this zero horizontal line. But most of the time, the samples of the variables is close to normal, so we we would say it's close to normal distribution. Okay. Can you make sense? Okay. So here I show you the four plots. To to judge the normal distribution. Next, yeah, we will use the statistics. We will use the statistic. So here, here is another way. We will use the statistic, the KS statistic, or 
SW statistic to test normality. Okay. Uh, it means it has two statistic. So which statistic we can use? It depend the number of the cases. Yeah. If the cases, if the number of cases is more than 100, okay, so it means uh, it's a large sample, then we, you will use the KS statistic. But uh, if the cases, the number of cases is less than 100, which we call it a small sample, okay? Then we will use the SW statistic. Okay, now, how many samples do we have in this example? Let's look at. Here, totally we have 28 cases, right? It means it's less than 100. So we, we will use the KW, the, S, the, the SW, Sharpiller Wilk statistic. Okay. Here is the test of normality. Okay, so please move upward. We can see. Okay, the SW statistic for height is 97944. And the corresponding significance is 0.138, which is more than point zero five. Okay, so it, it is more than point zero five. So we can judge that the height can be considered as normal. Okay, if the corresponding significance is less than 0 0.05, then it means the height is disnormality, it's disnormal. It cannot be considered as normal. Okay, so at the same time, bust. When we test the bust, okay, the statistics is 0.962 and the corresponding significance is 0.385, which is also more than 0 0.05. So it can be, can be concluded that uh, the bust is normal, can be considered as normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is also the analyze, yeah, because Okay, so that the normality is assumed. Okay, so which statistic will be used? depend on the sample size. Okay, please make sense. Okay, here uh, it's also very common used because it's very clear. Okay, next uh, let's look at the uh, squinness and uh, cutter cutosis.
Okay. If it's a norm, normal distribution, then yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I hope that you can see it. here is the block line, right? If it's a normal school, then the school will like this. But uh, if the line falls like this, then we, we, we will say, oh, it's a negative school. And also here is the normal school. And uh, if look at the red line here, yeah, then it means the, it's the positive school. Okay, so that means positive school means we have some uh, many samples, which is the, 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 which the data is big, very big. Okay, because here is the mean and uh, here is the samples. And if it's negative school means, yes, there is some uh, some amount of cases, their data is very small. Okay, it's very small. Here means it has some very large data. Okay, that's the squareness. So here is the normal squareness. Okay, so if it's normal score, if the score is zero or close to zero, then, then, then the distribution can be considered as normal. If it's positive or significantly positive or negative, then, uh, then through the scoreness, we can conclude that the, the Value is not uh, normal. Okay, so here for the height, for the height, the squareness is minus three zero two. Minus three zero two. That means there's a small amount of people they have the very lower. They, they are they have the lower height. Okay, so so it's minus. And like this. Okay, let's look at our plot here. Yeah, because here is the plot. Look here. We also have yes yeah, some some very very yes right. Okay, so it's Scornis is here. And then next is the ketosis. What is ketosis? Ketosis is here, like, like this. If it's a normal distribution, then the ketosis is like this. Okay, then the data is zero. If, if the ketosis is like this, okay, so that means the height, most of the, of the people, their height is very close to the mean of the height. Okay, then the ketosis is positive. If the height of the uh, the people they have different height look here yeah it in different area or have many people okay then we can say that the ketosis uh, is negative okay here is the normal ketosis here is the negative ketosis, and here is the positive ketosis. Okay, 
Also, from here, we can say that the kurtosis is minus 6, 7, 1. Minus 0 0.671, which is also close to zero, right? Because it's less than 1. It's close to zero. Okay. So, from here, squeeze and the kurtosis. First, the Squeeze and the kurtosis uh, is close to zero, first close to zero. So uh, normality is assumed. Okay. So we will use the squeeze kurtosis first of these to judge if the variable is normal or disnormal. Somebody has a question. I see. What's your question? Uh huh. The box part is missing. Hmm. Okay. I see. If you missing your box, okay. I show you. Again, yeah. Yeah, descriptive explore plots. Yeah, please select the histogram, the normality plus with tests. Nothing you need to change and display birth. Okay, hmm, maybe. Okay, so can you see this plot? Can you see this plot? Okay, so what's your name? So, what's the name of your plot? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Box plot. Okay. I think it's a dead. It's the same. Okay. That's a box plot. Okay. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Here I will explain uh, what are quarters. Okay, because we because uh, I think for you maybe yes uh, you are confused about the percentile, median, the seventy fifth. Present tires. Okay, yes, please follow me here. Uh, 
Okay. For example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten cases. Yes, for this variable. Okay. Firstly. Yes, we will order all data from smallest to largest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, uh, here is the the height of the people. One people is one, another one is two, just like this. Then, firstly, we order all the data from smallest to largest. Okay. Then. Q1 is 25th percentile, right? Okay, then the position of the 25th percentile is here, n is 10, right? The sample number is 10. So we will use this formula to calculate n plus 1 and then multiply. 0.25, which is 2.75. Okay, 2.75. So, where is the 2.75? 2.75, then the position is 2. Okay, the 2, number 2 is Number two, here the data number two is two, right? Because here is 2.75, so the Q1, here is the position. Position is 2.75. 2.75 is here. So that means it's from two to three. Okay, two to three. If it's 2.75, so that means it's uh, the 3 ha has a bigger weight, 2 has a small weight. Then we use the 2. The 2 is this one. This is 2. Okay, then here is 2. Multiply point two five. Add three. There is here. Okay, three. Multiply point seven five, which is point five. Add two point two five. Equal to two point seven five. Okay, so now, firstly, we order all data from smallest to largest. Second, decide the position of, and then calculate, calculate this case. So that means the 25th percentile uh, is 2.75, okay? Then second is, is Q2, which is the median. Median also is the n plus 1, okay, multiply 0.5, okay, which is equal to 5.5. 5.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means this median is between 5 and 6, right? It's between 5 and 6. And since it's 0.5, so that means it's right on the, in the middle of 5 to and 6. Okay, so that means 5 multiply 0.5 and 6 multiply 0.5 which is equal to 5.5. Okay, can you understand? Okay, the 5 here is here, is this one, and the 6 here is this one. 
5.5, this 5.5 is a position, which means it's in the middle of 5 and 6. Okay, also, here is the uh, 75, 75th percentile. If it's 75 percent higher, then firstly, we calculate the position of Q3, right, which is 8.25. 8.25 is between 8 to 9, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to 9. So here is the position. The position is from 8 to 10, 8 to 9. And uh, it's 0.25, which means it's close to 8. It's here. It's here. It's close to 8 to 5. Okay, so we will use 8 because it's close to 8. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's similar, it's more similar to, with 8. So, 8 here will multiply 0 0.75, and uh, here is the number, the, the location, the ninth location is also the data is 9. So, 9 multiply 0.25. Here we calculate it and it's 8.25. 8.25. Okay, so in this way we calculate uh, the percentiles. The 25th percentile, the medium, and uh, the 75th percentile. Okay? Okay. Now, would you please, would you please use the example three to calculate Q1, Q2, and Q3?